Oh, hey, Mr. Duck. How you doing? All right, guys. I'm out here getting ready for a tournament. Um, testing out some lures that I want to throw. And it's always a good thing to go somewhere where you can catch some fish just so you know what the bite on your lure is going to feel like and actually have the opportunity to catch something and uh, see how the fish are going to react to it. Ooh, there's one. I just spooked them off. But I really wanted to come out here and try um, a new thing that I found. It's called a Nico rig. It's a worm. I really want to see how uh, the bass bite on it. Oh, I think I got one right there. Nope. I really want to see how they would react to it. And I've never caught a bass on the Nico rig, so I really want to see how it would work. So I'm getting ready for a tournament coming up soon. I got my fans here. But we're going to see, we're going to try a few things that I'm planning to throw in the tournament. And I also want to try this new line I got in the, uh, oh, that was a bass right there. This new line I got, the P line. Oh, there's one. Ooh, that him. I always wanted to try this H2O braid. This is a, a new braid I'm throwing. Let's see if I pick that one up over there. It's really smooth for this frogging. It's pretty thick too. Looks like we're gonna catch some today, guys. And hopefully you guys, uh, I'm trying the new wind tamer too by uh, GoPro. Oh, there's one. Oh, I got him, guys. He was way back in there. It's a good one too. Oh, get him out, get him out, get him out. Uh, there he goes. Looks like a good one. Really good one. And that is why, look at that guys. Big bass on a frog. Looks like a post spawner. She's all beat up from making that bed. And right now it's a March. So th this time of year the bass should be spawning. We're probably gonna be looking for a few spawning fish and that Nico rig is a really good rig to use to find them. Look at that. Alright, let's find somewhere to put this big girl back. That's where she can get out easy. Here we go. Got all my boots on so I'm not getting too close to the water. There you go, big girl. Get out of here. So that's why I like to use braid, guys, because you saw how how much torque I had to put on that fish. I got a Booyah pad crasher here. A little bit bigger size, you can pick out some of these bigger fish. Ooh, right there guys, I just saw something come up. This H2O line casts pretty smooth. I like it. And if you look in the water guys, you'll see kind of, oh there's one. Got him, got him. As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by this bass. You look in the water guys, it's always good to have a good pair of polarized sunglasses. I wear Costas. I'm not endorsed by them or anything, but just a good pair of polarized sunglasses always helps for you to see all these little clear spots in the grass. And what I'm looking, I can probably find a few spawners here and I'll throw that Nico rig on them. There's one, I just saw it kick up. There's one, there's one. Ooh, she spooked off of it. Let's see if I pick her up with the Senko. 
always good guys when you have a, a blow up or a follow up if she turns away from it have a pitch bait ready because you can probably pick that fish back up on the pitch bait and guys uh i really thanks you guys for watching thanks for all the support on the channel um i would never thought it would get to like the, get to this <laughs> i mean you guys have shown some awesome support and i really appreciate it guys oh there she is you saw it guys she's kicked up i missed her right there she's over here there she is oh i think she got it yeah guys she's got it oh little one my drag was loose oh get out of there get out of there oh she got off dang it oh gosh darn it I broke it dang it oh I gotta retie that one guys but you saw that one I picked I picked her back up on the Cinco. Well, I'll have to retie that one. That was just a little Texas rig Cinco with a uh, 1 16th ounce weight. I pegged it. Oh, there's one, guys. I see her sharking at it. Ooh. Grab the legs. Guys, don't be afraid to throw frogs out in open water. It's a really good way to catch a big fish and it brings these fish out of... It calls them up and brings them out of the cover. So if you got any kind of cover nearby, they'll come get it. Oh, there's one, guys. Little one. Look at this, guys. You can't tell me she didn't want that frog. Choked it. There he goes. Little bass. right there oh, yeah gosh guys hope you saw that that bass came clean out of the water to get that uh to get something i don't know what he did <laughs> i might catch a bass guys with a golf ball on it To spook something right there. Oh, he's got it. Got him. Big one, guys. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one, guys. Come on, let me get this fish in. Come on. Oh, kick, big girl, kick. She's just sitting there. Guys, this, this is a big bass. Come on. Kind of screwed here. There we go. 
There it goes, guys. Look at that. Oh my goodness, guys. That's That's gotta be my personal best bass right there. That has got to be. Oh my goodness. Look at this beast. Guys, I'm not joking, guys. This, I don't have my scales at the truck. Darn, wish I brought it. This is my personal best bass, guys. That's about a four pounder. Look at the mouth on that thing. An absolute tank. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, I'm gonna take a picture real quick. Set the GoPro to take a few pictures. An absolute tank. Shutterstock music. Just released that bass, guys. Caught that one on a Nico rig. Um, if you guys don't know what a Nico rig is, I'm gonna show you how to rig it real quick. Oh, guys, that was one of my personal best bass. Oh man, I'm kicking myself because I don't have the scale. So we take a regular finesse worm. I'll do a more in-depth video of this, but this is just a real quick show. Wacky worm, nail weight, you stick it in the fat part of the worm. And these are a uh, Lunker Hunt worms right here. This is a uh, California 420 color. Get you all a little drop shot hook. And then you hook it up from that nail weight to where it looks like that. Basically you're wacky rigging it, but you're hooking it more towards the weight. Got him. Oh, that's a little one. A little chunker guys not what we're looking for but we'll take her she's a little one and I see those big ones kicking up I think there's a bed right there guys oh shit guys no, we're out of here. There's a water moccasin right there. There's a water moccasin right there, guys. If you guys don't know what a water moccasin is, I'm glad you don't. Oh, shit, guys. He's right there. Back up. He's right there, guys. He's probably looking for that duck. Run, Mr. Duck. He's right there. That's what you gotta watch out for these ponds, guys. Got those snakes there. You don't wanna mess with those guys. Some bad dudes right there. Took my only fishing spot right there. I always gotta keep an eye out for them. I see him right there too. I see him right there, guys. He's just sitting in that grass right there. You gotta watch out for those guys. Some bad, bad mamma jammas right there. Let's go rig up this hook. Move on a little bit. You can tell what a malt water moccasin is because he'll be either be he'll be solid black with that yellow undertone. And 
was a bad dude. He might only be about three, two, three foot, but he was a bad dude. Gotta watch out for those. Careful, Mr. Duck. I'm going on the other side. Got it. Oh, get out of there. Oh, she's right there. Oh, dead gummit. It's that light line, guys. It's going to happen. Dead gummit. Well, guys, I'd like to thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I really, I can't thank you guys enough. Like, all the support and the likes on the channel. You guys are the bomb. Thebomb.com. I didn't just say that.